No. So, we finally made it into February. This is, well, I think, Monday. February the 1st, right, I think. Uh, I'm gonna eight minutes twice. Okay, so two different ones. Each one's gonna be eight minutes long. So as many rounds as possible in eight minutes of 12 power queen and jerks, and then six pike sit-ups. Keep going round and round and round with that for the eight minutes. And then you'll get two minutes rest, and then same format, eight minutes, but it'll be hand cleans and burpees. So 12 hand cleans and six burpees. So, I would say I didn't do this to confuse you, the power queen and jerk, and then the hand cleans in the second arm wrap. I definitely didn't do it to confuse you, but you might find it confusing, okay? So pay attention. Power, clean, and jerk. Okay, so your power clean goes from the floor to your shoulders, okay? So from the floor to your shoulders, there's no squat, and then the jerk, is overhead okay so that'd be one rep you can do it with one rep one uh, weight obviously so from the floor to the shoulder to overhead that would be one rep so in the first arm wrap you've got 12 of them to do 12 power clean and jerks you've then got six pike sit-ups to do i think i'm obsessed with pike sit-ups don't you i might be um, so, <laughs> so pike sit-ups have a really good transference to toes to bar. So while we're not in the gym and we can't use like pull-up bars, then uh, toes to bar, you know, we can't practice them. But if you do a lot of pike sit-ups, then you will get better at toes to bar or stand a better chance at them. So pike sit-ups, uh, upper body and lower body come up off the ground at the same time. The only thing touching the ground is your butt. If you can't do any pike sit-ups, then you can do leg raises, or you could do knee tucks, where you could sit your hands behind you if you need to make them easier. So, the first arm wrap has the power clean, which is floor to shoulder with no squat, and then overhead. The second arm wrap is a hang clean, which is from a hang position, okay, in this case, at our knee height, and it's gonna go, when it says just clean, it doesn't say power, it means that it's gonna go into a squat. Okay, then you just stand, there's no overhead for the second part, just hang cleans. Okay, so with the single weight, you can go from between your knees, catch in a squat, and then stand or if you're using two weights the weights will start off just downside your knees come up and you'll drop into the squat before standing so power clean floor to shoulder no squat hang clean from the knee not the shoulder from uh, from, not the, from the knee not the floor but this time you catch in the squat and then the second part of that is six burpees. So your burpees go chest to floor, back onto your feet, hands overhead, jump and clap. Uh, you can step up and down out of them, or if you need to, you can put your hands on a raised surface, jump out, jump in, jump and clap. So a bit of practice figuring out what the differences are between power cleans, hang power cleans, cleans, there's so many of them. <laughs>